What's up guys, welcome to another tutorial and today I'm gonna show you how to create a really awesome dancehall beat. This beat is inspired by the track from Sway Lee, Won't Be Late featuring Drake. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. So first I'm just going to play the first part of the beat. So that's basically the whole beat and right now I'm just going to guide you through all the elements I've created to create this beat. So first I start off with this chord progression, layered it with this melody, and these two melodies are just following the same chord progression. So for this one, for the marimba, I've used Omnispare. I've used this preset right here. So the electric and marimba clean. And for the guitar plugs, so these ones. I've also used Omnispare and I've used this preset. I think those two elements fit perfect together. So that's basically it when it comes to the chord progression. After that, I've added this guitar. So this steel guitar. And for this one, I've also used Omnispare and I've used the Smoke Lab Steel Harmonics preset. So playing the chords and the steel guitar together. So this steel guitar is basically playing the same chords as my guitar plugs. So this melody. And it's this melody. So after that, the main melody is coming in. This one. And if you see Smoke's Lab Steel A preset. So I think all the elements go really well together and it really has that dark sound. So after that, I've added this bass line, this one. And just following the root note of the chord progression. I've made this one with Serum. Really awesome preset. And I've added this Protomento mode right here. So I've added 90 milliseconds. So when it's switching from note, it's just pitch bending. So I think the bass line is really awesome. And after that, I've started to add some drums. And this is where it gets really interesting, I think. So first I've added this really basic clip. Which is really similar to Won't Be Late. I've cut out the high frequencies. After that, I've added this tom, this one. And I've cut out all the high frequencies, like this. Otherwise it would sound like this. Way too harsh. And then I've just added a percussion right here. Also a tom. And this really adds some rhythm to the beat. And I did the same, I've also cut out all the high frequencies. And that's basically it when it comes to the drums. So after that, the kick pattern is coming in. It's just a really basic pattern. And it's this kick which I've used. Combining all the drums, it sounds like this. And right now I'm going to add the melody. So first I'm adding the chord progression. Then I'm adding the other melody, so the main guitars. So 
and the bass line. Then I've added some side chaining on the 808. Make sure to check out my tutorial. I will link it in the description how you can do that. And then I've added some effects. So first I've added this vocal sample effect. And I've pitched it all the way to the right. So it's just a little detail in the background. I think it goes really well together with all the other elements. And right here, I've added this record spin right here. This one. I've added this crash. And I've added this vocal sample, this one. Then I've added this conga fill. And I've added this roll over here. Then I've added this effect right here. And when other elements are playing, it sounds like this. So I think all these elements fit perfect together. And right now I'm gonna talk about the arrangement. So I've created a bridge part right here. Or just some drums and the melodies are playing. Right here our bass line is coming in again. And as you can hear right here, I've added some claps. And it's just a final part of the drum pattern. And right here, the beat is just repeating. And on this part, just the intro is playing again. So this part is the same as this part right here. And right here I've cut out the drums and I've created this automation clip to cut out the high frequencies of the drums, as you can hear. And you can do this by creating a drum bus or just link every element to a fruity filter. So this one, this is my drum bus and I've linked it to the fruity love filter. And I've just automated this cut of one, so this one. And you can create an automation clip right here. So right mouse button, create automation clip, and it will pop up in your arrangement. But you can also do this for all the elements individually. And that is how you can automate a cut of filter effect to your drums. And right here, this beat is basically repeating. 